This is the lockpicking lawyer, and a good lock is supposed to do two things. First, it should open quickly and easily when using the key, and second, it should be very hard to open without the key. Usually, locks meet the first requirement and fail the second. This lock, however, sent by Allen in Oregon, seems to fail both. It's a Kirk brand trailer coupler lock, and Allen's note says it just stopped working, like he was using the wrong key. He decided to cut it off and send it to me. Now, normally, these are embarrassingly easy to open. I have one here that is brand new, and I'm going to show you a couple different methods so you understand just how bad it is. First, we're going to try raking. I'm using a 40 thousandths thick turner and a wave rake. These are both part of the Genesis set that I sell over on covertinstruments.com. And after just a second or two, we pop that open. Let's do that one more time so you can see it was not a fluke. Now there is another way to open it that might be even faster, and that's using the knife tool on my Covert Companion. I'm going to jam it all the way to the back of the keyway and press firmly, and then lever the locking lug down. When I dig that point in, it's actually digging into the locking lug. Let's do that one more time. Now, I tried all of that on Allen's lock, and none of it worked, which probably means the locking lug is corroded in place. Given the presence of iron in this mechanism, I suspect it is just seized up with rust. So, given the ease with which one can open this and its apparent reliability issues, I think this product falls firmly into the avoid category. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.